Hey everyone, Mr. Macintosh here, and Apple today released the Mac OS Security Response Update 13.4.1a and iPad and iOS 16.5.1. But just now, as I was filming this video to talk about the update, Apple pulled both updates due to a problem. We're gonna go over in detail what the problem is, plus we're gonna show a workaround and how to uninstall the update and what it would look like if you tried to uninstall the update or had it staged next. Apple today released multiple beta releases for macOS Ventura and iOS and later right after that released rapid security response updates for macOS Ventura, iOS and iPadOS and Safari 16.5.2 and if you click on here you can see that this is due to a CVE vulnerability that will patch a web content arbitrary code execution and Apple is also aware of a report that this issue has been actively exploited. So this is a serious exploit that Apple has patched here and the problem is is that after the update was started to be installed today by users they immediately started reporting problems with loading certain websites like for example Zoom, Facebook or Instagram and what was found by some of the users was is that the user agent string was reporting the incorrect version instead of what it should show now if you don't know what the user string is this shows you right here what is my user agent and you can see that it is reporting as I'm using a Firefox browser, but it is also saying that it is on an Intel Mac 10.15. We're not on 10.15, we're on Mac OS Ventura, but Apple has kept this there because older websites only can pick up that user agent and report it. But this was changed, and once these websites were detecting an incorrect user agent, it would show them either a mobile site or it wouldn't render properly. So what users could do, and this is a workaround, if you install that rapid security response update until Apple comes out with a fix, what you can do is in Safari go into the developer menu here and if you don't have developer activated go into settings and then go into advanced click on show developer menu and then go up to develop in the menu bar and then click on user agent and then click Google Chrome Google Chrome then will properly report the user agent and then the websites will load properly for this issue if you're already on that Mac OS or iOS rapid security response update. Now that there's users reporting that in, later in the day, Apple started getting these reports and then now pulled the updates. Now I have the updates on my rapid security response database here that you can go and download. Now the problem is you can't actually install these. These are just zip files that show the full uh, folder structure and all the pieces in there so you could download and inspect them. All right, these are still on Apple server so you can actually download these right now. But if you go to the software update menu to see if you can install this, it is showing you as unavailable. So we'll pull up our demonstration unit here, our 2020 MacBook Air that I was going to use and our 2015 MacBook Pro that I had at stage for the testing that I was going to do tonight. The available software updates have changed. Try again, contact Apple Apple support for assistance and error has occurred while downloading the selected updates please check your internet connection and try again and that's what was showing on the 2015 unsupported Mac with open core legacy patcher now let's take a look at the MacBook Air to see what that looked like no update available even though we are on the latest version of 13.4.1 remember with the rapid security response updates you have to be on the latest version of Mac OS or it will not show up so if you were trying to do that today and you were on 13.3 or 13.4 it wouldn't show up anyway you had to be on the latest version but as you can see it checked here at our 1203 a.m and there is no rapid security response update and it was showing there earlier and you could see the screenshot that i took showing the 13.4 a rapid security response update that i could have installed but i wanted to wait because i was going to do the testing on this tonight before i put out my update video if you installed this i showed you the workaround that you could do for the user agent. But now I wanna show you how to uninstall the rapid security response update if you wanna be able to pull that to get your Mac back into use again. Now I give you a full walkthrough on how to uninstall so you can watch on video how to uninstall the rapid security response update. Now since I wasn't able to get that installed before Apple pulled it, you can see here uh, when I demonstrated the 13.3.1a rapid security response update and how to uninstall it. What you would do is go into general and then about and then you'll see the macOS version and then if it has a rapid security response update installed you'll see the little eye 
here for the information. All you need to do is click on that and I'm going to fast forward it a little bit so you can see what that looks like. If you click on this bar right here, it'll show you the version of the rapid security response when it changes after installation. And then you can click on that I and then the next screen will come up and this is where you'll be able to uninstall it. You'll see the last security response update installed. It will say 13.4.1a and then all you need to do is click on remove and restart. When you click on that, it should remove the rapid security response update and then restart the Mac and it'll be back at the original version of 13.4.1 with no rapid security response. And then the Mac should be in a situation where let's say Apple releases a fixed version of the RSR tomorrow, you can just install that and it should be fixed. Now, Apple also released a Safari 16.5.2 for macOS Monterey and macOS Big Sur as a standalone installer to fix that WebKit vulnerability. This issue that was pulled for the RSR does not affect the Big Sur or the macOS Monterey Safari update. Those websites install fine. I pulled up my test Mac and everything works fine. So those machines in this Safari version is still available on the software update server and has not been pulled and is not affected. Now, as soon as the update is put out there onto the software update server for users to be able to install again when it's fixed, I will make sure that I test it again and make sure that everything is working okay. And then I will put out a proper update video as soon as that new update comes out. And I don't know how long it'll take Apple to fix. It should be a pretty quick fix and it may be out tomorrow, which is July 11th at 12 noon central standard time and when it does i'll make sure i put out a update on twitter and then i'll do some testing in the night to make sure everything's okay and we'll catch you in the next video thanks